Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. Apparently, Emerson Nangangwa's time is up already, given to the fact that there is a serious re-engagement as Nangangwa is alleged to have squandered so much goodwill already and all his bad deeds are being exposed slowly but surely on the internet for just the wrong reasons. I really don't know why so many people had Emerson Nangangwa's back, but I'm here to give you all some insider details about what is ongoing on the streets allegedly. Before that, kindly do all to follow Jam Vibes please, like this video, drop a comment and above all, share this video with all of your friends and loved ones most importantly. When President Emeritus Mnangangwa came to power in a military coup in 2017, he received favorable reviews at home and abroad as well. The United States was highly skeptical but Britain was willing to participate. Nangangwa made all the right noises at the time, promising zero tolerance for corruption, an end to human rights abuses, respect for property rights and policies that will attract investors most importantly and some of which he has done. However, six years after the coup, Zimbabwe has reverted to defaulting to ZANU-PF and the country is facing a new wave of kidnappings and electoral fraud reminiscent of the late President Robert Mugabe's era. Amnesty International's recent statement confirms this development situation and reflects the views of several local international human rights organizations. Under Prime Minister Nangango's watch back in the days, the human rights situation was actually highly deteriorated already. And right now, that Emerson Nangangwa happens to be the president of Zimbabwe. Apparently, the human rights situation has continued to deteriorate over the past years. The declaration called for the government to adhere to constitutionalism to protect the rights of the people. The country has failed to reverse the repressive legacy of Nangangwa's predecessor, the late Mugabe, according to the Human Rights Group's latest report, Zimbabwe Human Rights Under Attack. The report, which assessed the human rights situation from 2018 to 2023, urges the African Union and the Southern African Development Community to pay close attention to the deterioration of human rights to ensure the safety of Zimbabweans at large. Amnesty International continues to urge the African Union, that is the AU, to address the deteriorating human rights situation in Zimbabwe. Amnesty International called on the African Union to ensure that Zimbabwe complies with its human rights obligations under the African Union Constitution and the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. Amnesty International appealed to the African Union, that is the AU, saying Zimbabwe's deteriorating human rights record continues to draw attention. Amnesty International urges the Union of Afghanistan to ensure that Zimbabwe complies with its human rights obligations under the AU Constitution and the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. The organization has previously called on the community, that is the SADC, to redouble its efforts to ensure that the Zimbabwean authorities put an end to human rights violations in the country. The findings also show that the government has stepped up efforts to curtail human rights, target families, harass people who speak out or organize protest and intimidate activists. The human rights situation is worsening as kidnapping cases highly increase on a daily. Although the constitution guarantees freedom of the press, journalists, opposition members and government critics who express their views online and offline are highly prosecuted or arrested for speaking out about human rights violations, the report said. Recently, opposition supporter Pastor Tamfumaneyi Messiah was kidnapped and CCC member Takud Zuangadziore was later found mutilated in Mavbuku a month after he was attacked by gunmen. Activists and leaders of political parties have been prosecuted for exercising their rights to express different opinions. 
Violations of social and economic rights continue all over Zimbabwe. With inadequate access to health services, particularly for women and girls exercising their sexual and reproductive rights, the Amnesty report spewed out. Amnesty International said Nangango's regime had taken repressive measures to close social spaces over the past five years following Mugabe's appeal of the Access to Information and Privacy Act, IPA, in 2002. The government imposed fines to silence dissenting voices in 2023 and, starting from 2003, a year after the system was introduced, at least 21 journalists were arrested and charged under various provisions of the law. However, Nangangwa did not apply for the Cyber and Data Protection Act, that is Chapter 12, Part 7, that is under Number 5 of 2021, Freedom of Information Act 2020, that is, which replaced IPA, Maintenance of Peace and Other Acts, that is 11, Part 23. Private Voluntary Organization Amendment Act, HB September 10, 2021, took place with the permission of the President. This legislative agenda is not very different from the tools of repression introduced by the Mugabe government at the turn of the millennium. Instead, the Zimbabwean government continued its tradition of using the law as a tool for coercion and human rights abuses the report actually had to say. Nangangwa has been criticized for using textbook-like tactics to violently infringe on the constitutional rights to protest. For example, about six countrymen lost their lives in the hands of the forces of law and order, breaking the one, the 1st of August 2018 sorry, shootings whereby the opposition supporters of the MDC alliance were protesting the slowdown of the general election result in 2018. We don't necessarily judge you one you want to tell me in the comment section what you think about everything being said and alerted in today's video. I love you all so dearly. I'm going to be replying to each and every one of your comments in the comment section. And give me your honest opinions. Like I said, we don't necessarily judge in. And before leaving here, do want to share this video to the ends of the world, to your family members, your friends, all your loved ones, literally all the groups you find yourselves in. And most importantly, come back here for more updated gist vibes and concrete information. Yo, see you in our subsequent upload.